Hey, we're Justin and Mary, and today we're gonna to talk about how we photograph the cake cutting. At this point in the reception, we're trying to remain unobtrusive, so we keep our lighting off to the side. But we also know that all the guests are gonna swarm the cake. Right, the DJ is gonna make that announcement and say, hey, everybody, grab your point and shoot. Make sure you go get a picture of the bride and groom. iPad. iPad, where <laughs> we really wanna kill them for saying that, but we have to work within it rather than fight it. And so because we know that, we can anticipate it, and Justin's gonna get a knee right up front. I'm always looking for a good, clean background. So by taking a knee, it helps to put the subject up against a higher part of the ceiling and keeps it very simple. Things tend to happen pretty quickly during the cake cutting, so it's always great to have a second angle. So I usually take the pretty traditional straight shot, but then I have Mary off to the side at the 120 degree angle to get an alternate shot. Now a lot of times when we're getting that shot, the bride and groom will look to us to ask where to stand, or they'll just want to be very camera aware because they're very used to seeing that picture looking right at the camera. Or maybe the DJ told them they should look right at the camera. For our why and for our purposes, we're really trying to get the two of them just enjoying that moment together. And so we're really happy to just say, just go ahead and ignore us or just look at each other during this time. For the longest time, we were doing our cake cutting shots with just one light coming through an umbrella off to the right. Just recently, we've started adding in a kicker off to the left and from slightly behind with a zoom reflector. It really helps the action between the couple and that cake cutting moment pop off against the background and isolate that story just between the two of them. 